Hi, my name is Tara Fernandez. I'm 14 years old and I'm in the ninth grade at Jishmuff School. Hi, my name is Sarah Ningalik. I'm 14 years old and I'm in the ninth grade. Hi, my name is Nicole Nackbook. I am 15 years old and I'm in the 10th grade. This footage is of a storm that hit Shishmaf November 9, 2011. Our seawall protects most of the housings and buildings from erosion. The seawall is about 500 meters long. Our drag acts are not protected. The areas that are not protected by the seawall erode during storms. Last year, we lost over 10 meters of land along the ocean. Some people lost parts of their drag acts. Others had to clean up the mess left behind. Shishmaf is located on the northern Sewer Peninsula near Kotzebue and Nome. Shishmaf has a very unique language and culture. We are here because it is a good place for hunting and gathering. One of the solutions for evacuating the island is co-locating. Co-location is if the people of Shishmaf are moved to existing villages like Kotzebue or Nome. The problem about co-locating is there are not enough housing for any large village like Kotzebue or Nome for all of Shishmaf. There would also be increased competition for resources around these villages. The other solution is relocating the village to Tin Creek. The problem is it would cost over $200 million. The area is too shallow to bring in fuel barges and the permafrost is not suitable for building our future on this island is uncertain. Hi, my name is Donovan. I am 14 years old and I'm a ninth grader. Hi, my name is Isa. I'm 14 years old and I'm in the ninth grade. Hi, my name is Kristen. I'm 14 years old and I'm in the ninth grade. People play Alaskan high kick as a way to test their hunting and survival skills, increase strength and maintain endurance, agility, and the balance of mind and body. Alaskan high kick is the competitor has good balance and good strength. Two-foot high kick requires strength of your legs and abdominal competitors must kick the ball with both feet sim simultaneously. One hand reaches for people with good upper body strength and balance. Competitors reach for a ball while bouncing on one hand without touching the floor with any other part of their body. The Eskimo stick pole, for instance, is based on a strengthening exercise that native hunters would do to prepare themselves for pulling seals out of the water. And you could row your boat. Eskimo stick pole is where two people sit across from each other, feet together, attempt to pull a stick out of each other's hands. They have to keep their legs straight and it is best two out of three to one. Ear pull is a traditional Inuit game which tests the competitor's ability to endure pain. In the ear pull, two competitors sit facing each other. Their legs struggle and interlock a two foot long hoop of string similar to a thick wax dental floss is looped behind their ears, connecting right ear to right ear using their own ear until the cord comes free or one player quits from pain.